Hey guys, it's Alex from Inside Gadgets. Today I'm going to show you how we can reduce the power consumption of our microcontroller by using the watchdog timer to make the microcontroller go to sleep for a certain amount of time. So you can see here we've got the ATtiny 85 just lighting up the LED for a second and then pausing for four seconds. And if we look over here, here's just the code just from the blink example, just modified slightly. So it uh, lights it up for a second and just delays for four seconds. And so we can see when it's in delay, it takes up 2.5 milliamps. And when the LED is on, it's about 11.8 milliamps. So let's say you wanted to find out how long a battery would last in this kind of configuration. There's actually a website that allows us to do this. So we just fill in the fields, press calculate and we're done. So we start off with the milliamp hours. We're going to say we're using a coin cell, 240 milliamp hours, which is already filled in. Um, how much current consumption when we're sleeping? It's 2.5 milliamps. Current consumption when it's awake, we'll round it up to 12. And number of wake ups per hour. So we're um, asleep for four seconds and where we uh, shine the LED for one, so it's five. So we divide 3600 by five and that gives us 720. So we fill that in and the LED is on for one second. So we leave that as a default and we get the uh, estimated battery life as 1.93 days. Now, if we were to put this back to 0.02 when it's really in sleep, we calculate that and it's almost um, it's almost double, not quite, but almost double. So that's that's a, a big improvement. So two times better was okay, but the sleeping modes really shine when you're actually using less current consumption when it's awake. So let's say we're just using 3 milliamps and we'll put this back up to 2.5 like we we don't have the sleep function being used and we get 3.27 uh, days. Now let's put say we're using the sleep function and we get 13.8 days so that's about four times better so if you keep using less then it's gonna get uh, you're gonna get better performance with the sleep so it might be useful if you're just using the uh, analog to digital converter like once every five seconds or something like that something that takes um, low current usage when it's awake now let's have a look at the actual Atmel data sheet for the HE Tiny 85 if we just look over here we'll already see the power and sleep manage and sleep modes so let's click on there and let's have a look at the different sleep modes. So they've got idle, ADC noise reduction and power down. And we want the lower setting so power down will get rid of all these things being used. And now we've got the wake up sources. So these are the things that can wake up the microcontroller once it's in power down mode. So if a pin changes, um, if we have the USI start condition or if we have the watchdog interrupt. So that seems to be um, the interesting one because you don't actually need anything external to trigger that one. It's all done internally. So if we just read down here, it tells you how to um, enable the sleep mode for the microcontroller and what just happens and here are the different, uh, different modes again. Just a bit more about each one. So now let's um, hop on over to the watchdog um, timer and just learn a bit more about that. Um, so it says here is an on-chip oscill oscillator that runs at 128 kilohertz. And do, 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 do. here we go. Here's more important. So if you just read all this and you get down to here, it says the watchdog timer can also be configured to generate an interrupt instead of a reset. So normally the watchdog timer would reset the whole microcontroller but we don't want to do that, we just want to generate an interrupt so it comes out of the sleep mode. So that's what we want and it just have, has a different, uh, just an example there and just the different um, registers. And so here is the actual timeouts for 
the watchdog so uh, we can go to 16 milliseconds 32 milliseconds and it goes all up to 8 seconds so that's something important to remember and just to note that it kind of varies on the voltage so it's not really accurate so I wouldn't be using this for timing of anything important so it might be if say you're at 3 volts you might have a the sec it might be 7.5 seconds or maybe it's 8.5 seconds I haven't really tested it out myself but it's just something to keep in mind so by enabling the power down mode you might think you're doing all you can to save power but there's actually a bit more improvements that you can make so in the data sheet there's actually a section called minimizing power consumption and so that uh, just gives you an outline so one of the things we can do um, is turn off the ADC and it says because it actually says that it's enabled in all sleep modes so we turn that off and we'll save a bit more power the analog comparator is actually um, it's actually disabled when in our power down mode sleep mode so that's okay we can skip that the brownout detector you actually set this by a fuse bit so we don't have it set so that's disabled the internal voltage is also disabled we're using the watchdog timer so that's fine now it actually says about the port pins so what what you can actually do to reduce the power consumption is to put all the pins um, all the digital and uh, all the digital pins to inputs so instead of outputs you put it to inputs and that will actually save a bit more power the, ac the example we're using actually shows um, putting the pins as inputs and also disabling the ADC just before we get started I'd just like to thank this website for providing the example code that we'll be using in this video he's running an AT Mega 168 and we've got the AT Tiny 85 so there'll be some changes to his code that we need to do so scroll right down to the bottom uh, download his source code and I've just got it open up here and let's start making some changes